I need some sort of intro, so I'm inserting it now. <laughs> That's what he said. Hey guys, Jess is a mess here. I'm Jess, my entire life is a mess. And today I am doing a Redbubble haul for you guys to show you guys what I ordered online from redbubble.com. I am not sponsored. I paid for everything myself. I spent 30 bucks on this shiz, so... So basically I had been needing some new stickers because um, I like to put stickers on my laptop. So that was like the only thing that I was planning to get. But that didn't happen because I found other things and I was like, oh, I need it, I need it. So I didn't just end up getting stickers. I have a couple more things. But either way, I'd like to show you what I got so you guys can know my experience ordering from Redbubble and whether or not I would recommend certain things. So this is gonna be like a haul slash review kind of thing because there are some things that I'm a little unhappy with. Um, but we'll get into that, so let's get started. First off, I'm gonna start off with stickers because that was the main reason that I went to the website. I have ordered stickers from Redbubble before. Four of the stickers on my laptop are from Redbubble. Uh, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And all of those stickers are my least damaged and least worn out. You can see there's a lot of scratches on this Deadpool one. I got this from Hot Topic. And there's one up here from Etsy oh, <laughs> that is um, of Castiel. And it's not scratched, but it's just that the white around it got really dingy. Oh, and I used to have one right here that was amazing. I got it off of Etsy. It was like my favorite sticker. It completely wore off. Like it got scratches and like almost the entire print of the sticker was completely worn off and it was just like a white sticker. And I was like, what? I paid $30 for this. So I really like Redbubble stickers because they are very, very durable. Redbubble stickers are really good quality when it comes to durability of scratches. Um, however, I don't really like how Redbubble prints them. So that's the one complaint I have about these stickers. The actual print of them are not very good quality. They're a little grainy, a little fuzzy, but they are still very cute. And of course, you know, you can support artists online, that kind of stuff, so. Also, before I get started, I don't remember all of the names of the artists that I ordered these from, so I will link everything down in the description box below in case you are interested, or in case maybe you saw something that was your art and you were like, whoa, I'm not selling that. Be careful of that. Make sure you look out for your own art, see if anyone's trying to steal it and sell it. Um, but anyway, yeah, so everything's gonna be linked down below for your guys' convenience. So here's all the stickers I got. Of course, I had to get a Soul Eater one. This is Maka Albarn in just like a really cute outfit. I think that's her um, outfit in one of the endings when she's just like walking for a really long time and, <laughs> and then she runs into Soul Eater sleeping on a bench. So this is her outfit and it's so cute and there's like a little heart and everything. I just loved it so much. I wanted to get a print of this, but I decided to go with a sticker because it was cheaper. But I might, well, with the quality of the sticker, with like the print quality of the sticker, I might just go back and get a print of it because it was so cute. Anyway, awesome. Next up, I have a Miraculous Ladybug and Cat Noir one. This one is so cute. It was just very like, I like the pastel-ish colors. I'm a huge fan of Miraculous Ladybug and Cat Noir. Oh my god. I love Miraculous Ladybug, the TV show. It's so great. Um, if you haven't watched it yet, you got it gotta watch it. It's so cute and wonderful and oh, it's so good. So anyway, this is a sticker of that and I absolutely love it. It's so beautiful. Next up I got this one of Merlin that says clot pole and he's wearing a little flower crown. I just thought it was really cute and I really wanted something Merlin related because as you guys may know I am obsessed with BBC's Merlin. Um, it's my one of my favorite shows ever. So I had to get something to put on my little computer with Merlin. Next up I have a couple of YouTuber ones. Um, if you guys may already know this, I don't know. One of my favorite YouTubers is Doddle Oddle. She is so amazing and wonderful. So um, I got this little, I think it's a drawing. Either it's a drawing or it's a picture of a ukulele. And um, they put a little bow on it. And if you don't know, um, Dodie's uh, ukulele. <laughs> Hers has a purple bow on it just like this. And so this is just a ukulele with a purple bow and it says Doddle Oddle and I just thought, oh my god, that's so cute. It represents my love for Dodie Clark and her amazing music, so cute. Cute? Yes? No? Yes. Next up I got this beautiful piece of artwork of Dana's Not on Fire. Look at how pretty this is. Oh my god. I love the pastel colors and the flower crown and how he's looking away. So like, um, I don't know, I think it's kind of weird to have like faces of YouTubers on my stuff. So I didn't want to get like a picture of him, you know what I mean? Like that would be a little weird. But this piece of artwork was so beautiful and you know, he's looking away, you know. If you weren't like a huge fan of Dan is on fire, you probably wouldn't recognize that this is him. So I thought, okay, it's a little stealthy and it's also very pretty. Perfect. And the last sticker I got is this. I felt like it represented me the most. It is a picture. <laughs> 
<laughs> the pile of garbage and it says, I am just a simple garbage bag. That's me. <laughs> anyway, next up, I got a mug. This is the first mug I've ever gotten from Redbubble. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys like how it was packaged. This is a mug of Shinji holding a mug of himself holding a mug. It's like this endless loop of him holding a mug on, on a mug he's holding. And this is probably my favorite mug that I've ever owned in my life now. I just saw this and it made me laugh, it made me smile, and so I thought I really need that in my life. So every time that I look at it, I just kind of giggle. It's really dumb, it's really dumb. It's always good to have something that you can look at that makes you laugh, so I don't even have to use this for drinking. I probably will. Um, but I can just like put stuff in it, like pencils or brushes, I don't know. All mugs are dishwasher safe, and this one, normal mug, is microwave safe. Cool. The anime that this is from is old, so if it looks kind of like not super sharp and crisp, that's why. It's not the actual printing, it's just that the anime that this little like cutout was taken from um, was a little older, so. But the print itself seems to be really good, so I'm impressed with that. Thank goodness it's not the same quality as the sticker printing, and I just love it. I just love it. So I'm going to link this down below again if you're interested, and then I will link another one down below that's this, but it's someone actually like redrew him. So if you prefer that over like one that has the actual print of the anime, I don't know. I'll just link them both. I'll link them both. So the next thing I have to share with you is a photographic print. They have a lot of different kind of art prints that you can choose like options from. You can get like a canvas, you can get a normal art print, you can get a poster, or you can get a photographic print. There's a couple of other options that just like aren't important. The photographic prints look awesome and they're like, I think maybe half the price of the art prints. So I don't really know the difference fully, but it looks good, so I don't know. Anyway, I'm, I'm gonna show it to you, but I just do have to warn you that uh, there's some blood in it. It's a Soul Eater print um, of Stein and Medusa, and it's a little gory, so if you don't wanna see it, you can, you can just click off now, that's cool. Um, but there is some blood in it, so anyway. So this is the print I got. It's of Stein and Medusa, like right after he, spoiler alert, cuts her in half. Um, and uh, this is half her body, then the other half of her body is down here. I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of dark. Oh, also, it came in this sleeve, uh, like a protective sleeve, which I reuse these over and over again, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, but I'm gonna take it out, and then you can see the actual finish of the image. Mm, yes, oh, that looks good, I like that. So this is what the print looks like out of its little glossy package. And uh, it's got a little, a little reflectiveness there. Of course, it's not a mat. <laughs> um, so this is just a normal photographic print. This was the smallest one I could get. It was like, I think, $6 for this. I think this is like an eight by 10. Uh, one of the smaller ones, but also the cheapest, so. <laughs> uh, I'm not usually into like bloody dark things, but this was pretty epic. Look at how freaking cool this is. I almost cussed and I don't know why I stopped myself. My fingers have been all over it, and I haven't seen any prints coming off, like fingerprints. So that's good. Anyway, so that's everything that I got off of Redbubble. I am very happy with this art print. I will probably order quite a few more because this is a really good deal, I think. However, I do have to complain about uh, Redbubble shipping because it's awful. So like I bought stickers, I bought a poster, and I bought a mug. So they shipped them all separately at different times, you know, whatever one was ready first. And that was really annoying for me because that meant that I had to pay more for shipping. To get all of these items, I had to pay $12, over $12 for a mug, some stickers, and a poster. $12? <laughs> I would have rather have waited to get all of them and then them ship them together in like one box than get them all separately. The poster came first, it came in just a couple days, and then the mug came in a few days, but then the stickers took like over a week to get to me. <laughs> I just don't like how they ship their things, but whatever, what are you gonna do? And the printing quality of the stickers are not my favorite, so. I do recommend if you're gonna buy anything from Redbubble, wait till they have a sale. Um, if you're gonna buy stickers, buy six of them because usually they will have this thing where if you buy six or above stickers, they are all half off. And you can use the site-wide 20% off on the already half off stickers. So you can like double discount it. So I bought these for 70% off. So that's an awesome deal. 
Um, anyway, um, and I would recommend the prints anytime because I think that they're really nice. I also really like the mug. It's very good quality, so I would recommend their mugs. I think they're really cool, and I think that their prints on this are really good and not grainy. There's my review. I hope that this was helpful for you guys. If it was, be sure to give this video a like so that I know to maybe do more in the future if I make other Redbubble purchases. I have no idea what I'm doing with my life, but I hope that you guys can join me on the journey to finding out. See you next time. I'm just my entire life is a mess, and today I'm here to bring you a um. I'm probably doing this way too much. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing with my life. <sighs> <laughs> I mean, how can you take this seriously? How can you take someone holding this mug, giving you this really serious face, like, mm, this is a predicament, yeah. And then I could take it a step even further and cosplay Shinji and hold this mug. <laughs> oh man, this is my favorite. I could take that to a con. I could cosplay this and just hold this mug walking around the convention. That would be amazing.